move now on to soft landscaping issues and we'll start off with uh, designing a tree block to place around the site okay so we'll need to create some new layers for this gonna have sigh tree trunk and I'm gonna make this yellow so it uses a fairly thick pen okay second new layer sigh tree canopy and this is the kind of spread of the tree the the shape you would see from looking down from the sky and we'll make this green and click OK I'm going to make a third layer and this is going to be actually for, for holding the trees so it'll kind of be like a control layer I'll just call this Psi Veg short for vegetation so all the vegetation in the whole drawing could be frozen on or off by just freezing one layer and when we place the blocks these layers will be frozen when we freeze this one that's the way it will work okay so I've make a side tree trunk the current layer and close that dialog and I'm going to make my tree block in model space now a block is a an, an item could be a single line it could be 5,000 lines it's, it's kind of like a united drawing um, the, f the great thing about blocks is that if, if that bit of information is used twice, five times, a hundred times in a drawing, it doesn't weigh the, the drawing down with a lot of file size. The computer only has to remember one of these blocks and it just says there's another copy of it here, there's another copy of it here, etc. So it makes the drawings much more lightweight. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to zoom in fairly close because the, the block I'm going to define is going to be effectively a meter wide. This makes it easier when you insert the blocks later that uh, you just have to think of whole numbers so if I wanted a tree that was um, five meters wide I only have to use a scale factor of five we'll start off by drawing the trunk so I'm just going to draw a very simple line put ortho on and just make it about say 150 mil long okay tiny little line let's zoom in and to turn that into a cross to represent the uh, middle of the the tree I could use the array command that's AR I want to do a polar array I choose the center point put my O snaps on and then select the object I want to array which is the line press return four items fine 360 angle this, look, this looks like the distribu distribution I want. I'll preview that. That looks good. Press return. Okay, and then we'll draw a circle at the center of that. So C, return. Go to the middle of the cross. Drag out, and the radius will be 500. This will give us a meter diameter tree. So I'll put that onto layer Psi Tree Canopy. Okay, now what we do is we turn this into a block, so it unites the circle with the four lines in the middle. So the command for that is B, short for block make. Okay, I'll just pull the dialog box onto the screen. Okay, let's call it something simple, like tree one. The base point, this is the control point for the tree in future use. So pick point go to the middle of the tree and find the end point. Then you need to select the objects. Capture them all and return. Now I don't want this tree to be left there, this small one meter wide tree, so I'll delete the object, so I'll leave the button here. It's going to be created in millimeters and future use will always be in millimeters, so watch out for this here. Okay, the tree disappears. Right, we'll bring some trees in now, and we'll, we'll bring in four trees at different scales, and then we'll copy them around the drawing. So we use the insert command now. So insert, insert. Now it's looking inside the drawing first. It's looking for any blocks inside this drawing. 
and it's found tree 1. If our tree block was outside the drawing, on a server, on a USB drive, on a CD, then I'd have to browse for it. But it's here, so it's expecting me to go with it. Now because it's circular already, I don't really want to rotate the object, so I'll take the tick off rotation. But I do want to control the scale, and I do want to control where they go. So I'll click OK. Okay, at the end of my cursor, I've got the tree block, you can see. Okay, so I'll pick a first position for my first tree, and then it's asking me for a scale factor. Let's try a scale factor of 7. We, need we had uniform scale on, on the, uh, on the insertion command, and therefore I didn't have to type in anything for the, the Y scale factor. Okay, let's put another one in with a scale factor of 5. A third one. Maybe make this one quite big, scale factor of 10. And the fourth one. Let's have a scale factor of 8.5. Okay, now I'm going to use the copy command to scatter these around the site. So if I turn my O-snaps off, Turn Ortho off. I can let the trees look a bit more natural distribution. Okay. They tend not to have so many big trees, so there wouldn't be so many of the big ones. We'll cluster lots of small ones around as well. And the 8 meter one. Have I already done that one? Yeah, that looks okay like that. Let's just do a couple over here. Okay, nice little scattering of trees around the site. They may be surveyed positions. In ours, it's just random. Okay, now that looks kind of fairly technical. It doesn't look very graphic. You know, if I look on the layout, mm, it's not really doing much, is it? The trees look a bit dull. So let's redefine our tree. Let's make it a bit more interesting. So I'm going to zoom in here in amongst this cluster of trees and I'll stick in another one of our trees just there. Press return because I don't want to change the scale factor on this one. What I need to do before I go any further is mark the insertion point. I know it's the middle of the cross but that's all going to get deleted in the end. So use a line and use your insertion object snap to just mark the center of the tree. Okay, right, before I go any further, what sh should have been done, I should have put these trees onto layer tree. Okay, so I'm just picking them all, and I'm going to put them on the side tree layer. Okay, go to home, put them onto side, side veg, actually, side veg, that's fine. And I think I'll make side veg current, so I don't make that error again. Okay, so zoom in and I now need to uh, I can leave that one as it is actually, I can use that, I can keep the shape there but I'm going to insert two more, it's going to be a combination of two blocks to make it look a bit more graphic. So let's go to, uh, oh I do need to explode this, so we'll break this back up into its constituent parts using the explode command, so it's x return pick the block and return. All right, we'll delete the cross in the middle but we'll keep the circle because the circle could be used for our shadow later on. So I want to insert now, insert, but this time we're browsing. So we're looking outside the drawing to pull in the right drawing. So what I need to do is to go to our shared drive and you're looking into the resources that came with this practical. Okay, so it's Kazagaspar, blocks, and in here there's two tree drawings. We've got tree F, which is kind of like the branches and trunks, and tree O, which is kind of like uh, the squiggles representing the leaves. So our block's going to be a combination of these two. So let's try, let's start with tree F. Click open. Okay, and 
you can do this by eye, you don't have to use your O-snaps for this, so just try and place the, the tree in the center of the circle and press return. Right, we need to explode it and put these lines onto the tree trunk layer. So X, return, pick the block and return, and then select everything, hold shift and take away the circle, and place those objects onto layer side tree trunk. Press escape to get rid of the grips. Okay, now we want to insert the leafy bits. So insert, browse, tree O, open, okay. And once again, we're doing this by eye, but we will increase the size of this a wee bit because you wouldn't have the, the branches poking out beyond the leaves. So place it roughly in the middle of the, the block and do a scale factor of 1.2. Just lets the leaves spill out a wee bit over the edge of the branches. Explode this new block. So you'll need to turn off layer side tree trunk just now so that we can change all of these items. Hold shift and take away the circle and put these onto side tree canopy. Okay, now create a new layer, and this is going to be the, the tree's shadow. Make this a bit more graphic. So if we make a third layer that's going to be bound into this, this block. Psi tree shadow. And you can choose a color for that. I'm going to choose color 253. Kind of be consistent with our colors for our shadows. Okay, so we use 253 for the building shadow. You need to use the same color for the tree shadow. Okay, would look a bit strange if you had denser shadows from one object than another. Okay, you don't need to make it current if you don't want to. Um, it's okay as it is. And what we'll do now is move the shadow of the tree out at 45 degrees. So it's the same angle as the building. So M, return. Pick the circle, return. Your base point can be anywhere. I'm going to pick here, and in relation to that base point, I'm going to go at 750, less than symbol, 135. So it'll move 750 millimeters on a bearing of 135 degrees. Press return. Okay, that's a reasonable distance. And then you want to hatch that. And we'll use a solid hatch. Select objects, pick the circle, return, preview it, that's fine, press return. Now change the circle onto layer side tree shadow, and then use the draw order command, dr, and return twice. That sends it behind the tree leaves. So you can delete the circle now, that's done its job, and we can bring back on the tree trunk layer and we're ready to redefine our block and when we do that all these will change to look like this and they will enlarge proportionally now this is one reason why we, we choose a, chose a solid fill hatching here that if you'd used lines then you would have wider space lines so the shadows on the bigger trees would be lower density than the ones on the smaller trees and it would look a bit strange okay so we're going to remake the block and use the same name so it's B return pick the name tree 1 it's pick point and this is why we drew the line put your O snaps on and find the end of the line that's in the middle of the tree then select the objects Press return. Everything else stays the same. Click OK. We should get a warning now saying there's already a block in this drawing called tree 1. Are you sure you want to redefine it? We do. Redefine block. Delete the line. Zoom out. And we've got 
a fantastic scattering of trees. Okay, very quick. This is where the blocks start coming into their own. Now, all's not absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, the shadow from this tree is obscuring the leaves on this one. So we need to use the draw order command, and you're basically picking a tree and trying to send it behind. So you just dr return, pick an object and return twice. Okay, so just have a look and see if you can find areas where there's where there's issues of visibility. So I've got a bit of a trouble troublesome one here. Might be easier if I just deleted that one. Well, let's see if we can sort this one out. Draw order. Send this one to the back, then send this one to the back, then send this one to the back, then send this one to the back, and then send this one to the back. Okay, it's a, it's a wee bit tricky, but you soon get into the swing of it. Everything's looking not too bad over here. I'm seeing tree. Ah, I've got a problem here. This one could do with going to the back. So DR return, pick the tree, return twice. Okay. Stand back and you're wanting to see more green than grey. Okay, this one seems to be a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, he's hiding the leaves on this one, so I need to send him to the back. But then, subsequently, it causes knock-ons further away. Okay, everything else is looking okay there. Good. That wasn't too bad. So there's only probably about five or six trees out of all those that needed any attention. So that's a quick uh, overview of creating a tree block and redefining it with something much more graphic. Have a look at that in the layout and things start to look much more interesting. Okay, if I did a plot preview here. Things are looking much more interesting. Okay.